Okay, free.
Sound Area Middle School Studio. This is the Royal Announcements! Good morning, I'm Mason. And I'm Antonio. Today is Friday, April 5th, and today is a cycle day too. Today's lunch features chili cheese dog, sauerkraut, fresh cut onions, and french fries. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. We begin today's broadcast with a look at this weekend's weather. Good morning. I'm Sam. And I'm Logan. Here's the weather forecast for this weekend. Saturday will be cloudy with some showers with, oh, it will be brizzle with cold for the opening day of trout season. Winds will come from the northwest at 15 miles per hour and the high temperature will be 52 degrees. Sunday will be partly sunny with a high temperature of 55 degrees. Winds will come from the north northwest at 10 miles per hour. Have a wonderful, have a wonderful weekend and now, now back, back to, to the, the news desk. Attention all students, Wildcat Academy is canceled for Monday, April 8th. Please do not stay after school on Monday. Thank you. Tonight is the night. Get ready to dance the night away at our spring dance from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Admission is $5 per person and doors will open at 545. Snacks and large glow sticks will be sale during the dance. Remember, this event, this event is for Dallastown area middle school students only. Don't miss out on the fun at our beach themed spring dance. See you there. We have two sports teams in action today. The boys' soccer team has an away game against Central York at 4 o'clock. Players should be dismissed at 2.25 with the bus departing at 2.40. And the track and field team will participate in the Herb Smith Relays during a st starting at 3 o'clock. Athletes should be dismissed at 1.30 with the bus departing at 1.45. We wish all athletes the best of luck. Today we send happy birthday shout outs to the following staff and students who have birthdays over the weekend. Mrs. Barringer, Natalie Gillis, Nathan Gillis, Dakota Horner, and Holden Kelleher. Charles Meachie, Josiah Main, Stashawn Johnson, Gavin Kunkel, and Giselle Rosa. We hope you all have a great day. We, we now have a special, very special message from Mr. Harrington and Mr. Miller. Good morning, Wildcats. Mr. Miller, I noticed you're rocking some pretty fancy shades there. What's that about? Well, I'm trying to check out this eclipse that everybody's been talking about for so long. When's this happening? Oh, the solar eclipse? Yeah, that's going to be on Monday. Now, Mr. Miller, you do know that you just can't wear regular sunglasses to look at the eclipse, right? I can't, but these things are so cool. Oh, they might be cool, but they still let way too much sunlight in. In fact, if you're planning on looking at the solar eclipse on Monday, you're going to need a fancy pair of these. Now, they might look like movie glasses, something you'd get at the theater, but these are actually really special. They block most of the sunlight. They let more or less than 0.01% of the sunlight through. So if you want to see the eclipse, these will keep your eyes safe. Mr. Miller, do you know what happens to your eyes if you look at the sun for too long? Would I, uh, would I go blind? You could go blind. A lot like sunburn, UV light hits your eyes and it'll burn your retinas. It can actually burn physical holes in your eyes. So if you're planning on looking at the solar eclipse on Monday, make sure you get a fancy pair of glasses so that way you can enjoy it without it being the last thing that you see. So Mr. Harrington, am I gonna see a total solar eclipse where I'm at? So where we are in York, it's gonna be pretty, pretty close. In fact, we're gonna be in the 90%. And what that means is it's gonna cover just about all of the sun. It's going to be quite the sight. 
uh, it's going to get very, very dark around here as that moon moves in front. Now, Mr. Miller, do you know how rare this event is? Oh, I don't know. I think it uh, happens probably every year, maybe every two years. It seems like I just had one maybe a couple years ago. You're right. We actually did have one about seven years ago, so you might have remembered this. But, Mr. Miller, this is going to be the last one for a while. Do you know how long you predict until the next solar eclipse? Mm, is it maybe five or six years? <laughs> Well, unfortunately for me and you, this might be the last one we get to see because I believe that they're saying that we're not going to have another total solar eclipse for another 45 years or so. 45 years? It's going to be a long time. Think about that, students. Where are you going to be in 45 years from now? So uh, make sure that you do get out and enjoy the moment. Uh, anything else that you want to say about the solar eclipse? Mr. No, I'm just looking question? forward to looking through these fancy dancy glasses. These oh, I'm are awesome. I'm looking forward to it too. So make sure you keep your eyes safe if you're going to check it out. Enjoy the event because it's going to be something that you will not see in a long, long time. Thank you for all those great tips. I guess we're back to the news desk for something about a pizza party. Oh, that's an exciting way to end the week. Yeah, that is. Good morning, everyone. Um, I am Miss Call Rider, as you know. I am here with someone, uh, a face that may be familiar to many of you, but also maybe not for some of you. So this is Mrs. Corrieri. She is our new school librarian. So welcome. Good morning. And yesterday was, I think it was National School Librarian, librarian Day. Day. So thank you so much for being here and being our awesome librarian. Thank you. And thank you for being our special guest on the announcements today. I'm ready. Okay. Um, so today is Pizza Party Day, Positive Paul Pizza Party Day. Uh, we did a drawing from every student who submitted Positive Pauls in the month of March. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we put them all in there and then we pick some winners from each team. And oh, you know what? Speaking of positive polls, before I forget, remember we talked about back on Tuesday, there were folks coming in to quiz some staff and students around the school um, about uh, positive polls, respect, responsibility, integrity. They were so impressed. They said people knew about the Wildcat way. Awesome job. And not only were you able to answer their questions, they said everyone was so kind and so helpful. They were kind of new to our building. They had a map, but they didn't really know where they were going. They said everyone was so helpful. That's so awesome. I love to hear that, that when we have visitors. This is um, a great place. Yeah, that, that is the impression we are giving off. So we've been talking a lot about respect lately. I think that goes right along with it. Um, hopefully you felt just as welcome when you were new to our building uh, with everyone helping I out. have made so many friends. It's just a wonderful place. That's awesome. So without further ado, okay, pizza let's do party it. names. If your name is called, you get to bring a guest from your lunch period. This is going to be today. Here we go. At lunch. As soon as we're done with announcements, meet us in the uh, main lobby. You'll get your passes. One for you, one for a friend. Here we go. First, starting with Team Legacy, our three winners from Team Legacy are Dante Brown, Lily Schweitzer, and Shane Illies. Uh, team Excel, uh, Jazeel Rosa. Alora Gonzalez and Natalie Hoffnagel. And from Team Phoenix, we have Sierra Anderson, Kylie Brooks, Gabrielle Irabucci, and Ambition, Sophia Escalin, Avery Howard, and Rachel Sala. And I should have said this, I always like to apologize at the beginning. If we say your name wrong, we apologize. We're trying our best. Team Voyager, we have uh, Caden Cromer. Russell Kasner and Sydney Malave. And Invictus, Abigail Evans, Lillian Scott, and Derek Davis. Team Endeavor, yes, I'm clapping here. That was a winner from the TV studio. Team Endeavor, we have Finnegan Keller, Haley McDaniel, and Zayden Ramage. Inspiration, Chase Cannibal, Jocelyn Lewis, and Jaylee Johnson. From Team Synergy, Madison Dewar, Lucas Bassardo, and Aiden McCormick. And Velocity, Josh Wunderlich, Dominic Ziegler, and Grace Brown. 
And from Team Awesome, we have Logan Craft and Braden Clever. Great job, everyone. We will see you in the lobby um, right now if you were a winner. Um, if you were not a winner, keep turning in those positive paws. We have um, drawing coming up next week, Wildcat Way Day. Awesome. Special drawing for uh, respect paws. Um, and then obviously we'll have another drawing next month Great. Uh, for our next pizza party. So keep turning Can't in the paws. Keep, keep being awesome. Thank you, everyone. Happy Librarian Day. Thank you.